Dude, it sounds crazy. I can barely hear you right now. Nice. Oh, wow. Very nice. Hi guys, welcome to the Clutch. I'm Terry, I'm Igor, and we are going to review this 2021 C300 as car guys. Yeah, we're going to determine if it's worth it for you to buy it or not, and the answer is no. Okay, let's talk about styling. So, the headlights are really nice on this one, but the only problem with this car, you're getting the latest um, model for the this span of years, so you're getting the same car as the 2015. So you're gonna overpay and it already looks outdated because there's a 2022 out. What we like about the, the car is blacked out trims, so blacked out mirrors, blacked out uh, trim work, blacked out roof. Uh, color is a personal choice, we're not really gonna comment on it. Okay, so the front here, it has fake vents uh, and then it has a real tiny vent that doesn't do anything. So like, I'd rather have this as a real one and this fake than vice versa but I guess Mercedes just has different uh, style preferences. Wheel fitment is really bad for like a 2021 car. Like it can fit, you can fit a Tim Hortons cup in here. It's not good. Uh, brakes are small, doesn't brake well. Okay, let's talk about these wheels. Supposedly they're AMG, but they kind of look like shit. This lip over here, makes the rim look smaller even though it's a 17 inch and i i don't understand why mercedes would do that they put 225s on this car and like they, it doesn't handle just, just because they're so skinny you can't really you can't really go into corners very hard so one of the things i do like about this car is when you're carrying groceries you can just kind of tap with your foot and uh, it'll open and then when you're done if you're too lazy to press the button and you can just kind of like do it again and it'll close so that's a plus i like the way this opens it's very smooth it seems automated but it's just a smooth opening hinge so what i don't like about this interior is uh these controls for the um multimedia this has like a haptic feedback and it has like an actual wheel that you can control everything with but when you're controlling this wheel your hand will touch the touch screen or whatever and it'll like mess with it um another thing is this head headrest it doesn't move it's just like that on the other side it does move and you can control it but it doesn't move this glove box compartment it's like it's just really weird how you have to like put everything like down and like you really have to want to put something in there to put it. There's cut out here for the vent. I mean, they could have just like made it a little better. Okay, so the things that I don't like about this interior is one, this clock face is plastic. They could have added like $10 for uh, glass. Two is this light. I think it's going to get outdated really quick. It kind of already looks outdated with that um, hex like rectangle thingy this uh push to start button like once again it looks outdated already uh and this you can see the plastic cutout which i don't like like it just they should have at least uh, somehow hit this edge better there's a soft limiter at 4000 sounds like a vacuum cleaner that just sucked in a tim hortons cup Uh, both like these uh, switches are very nice quality but then these ones like right beside them are plastic which i don't understand why they would like within like an inch they have plastic and metal switches which i don't think they should do we're gonna bring this car to a chiropractor because that's like some asmr right there so this car it doesn't pull like You'll just embarrass yourself with any car guy car because any N54 will smoke you. It doesn't go. This ambient lighting is kind of nice though. I can't even turn this. This Corolla and this C-Class 
Um, we both have Spinelli tires. It'll just spin out just anytime you turn. It's 83 only. <laughs> <laughs> Also, if you like music, you will hate this car because the speakers have no bass whatsoever and it was the same problem in the pre-facelift one uh, since 2015. It's just no bass, so you will not enjoy music the same as you would in any other car to come. So what I notice, there's only one speaker in each door and one little tiny subwoofer up here. There are no speakers in the back over there, so basically what you're paying for is a five speaker sound system okay so we're gonna try a launch in this car um i think it does launch we're gonna do a brake uh, boost launch um, go. are we there yet yes we're there so basically our conclusion is it's a white girl car, don't get it as a car guy because you're just going to waste uh, $50,000 because that's the cheapest one that you can buy right now on Auto Trader. Um, yeah, you can get much funner, faster, and nicer tires.